Hello everybody, Sinus111 here, and welcome back to more Mega Man Maker. In the last part, I showed you one of my levels called Sparkland, and now we are currently going through Alien Laboratory Infiltration, another one of my levels. I think Area 3 of this level is the hardest area in the entire level. Probably because of the crash platforms and the... Oh, now the saw appears. Because of the crash platform section and the... Can enemies. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, if you only shoot the clown, the cog will appear. I don't know how I fell down that pit. Boy. vanishes again. I don't know what to say about it. It's quite random. But here I am, back to where I died. Oh! 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 Nice! Here we are back at the flying section of this level. We have to use Rush Jet again. I think we're back at full health now. Oh, can we make it? Yes! And here we are at the boss. Which, if you can tell already by the last part, is Ferroman. I made Ferroman weak to the Flash Stopper weapon, as he is actually weak to it in Mega Man 4, the game where he comes from. So that was it for Sparkland and Alien Laboratory Infiltration. Next is Rooftop Scuffle. Um, this level gave me a chance to, uh, use the items from Mega Man 2. And the Skull Barrier actually serves a special purpose here, too. But it's not going to be shown until late in the level. And finally it's ready. Get ready, Crash Man. Listen up. What you're hearing is Flashman's stage theme from Mega Man 2. The background is from Beetleman's stage in Mega Man 3. I've decided to use the Heatman stage 
floor tiles in conjunction with the uh, Green Man stage tiles to create buildings and their windows. Uh, this part, I made you think you would use item 2, but this is where you actually use item 2. And there's a wall to stop you, too. but it's just straightforward. Oh. I think if you use an item energy pickup on on a weapon that doesn't require it, it will automatically fill up the weapon that was last used. Well, here we are at Area 2. This area is going to be quite tricky. Mainly because of the turrets. Uh, here you're going to have to use Item 2 on the staircase. I don't think it'll work if you use it on the top of the staircase. I'm in a safe spot here. You will get hit during this part. But oh well. And up here, I've decided to include a mini-challenge involving the red force beams, or no, the orange force beams. Um, here... Yeah, this pattern I haven't really been able to figure out or fix, so sorry about that. Coming up is what I believe to be the trickiest part of Area 2. Ooh, just dodge that one. Here we have a spike pit and another spike ball. Spike fall and you get the skull barrier, which is actually going to be useful for what's coming up now. Down here, there's a secret sewage passage. You actually have to deploy the spike barrier the second you get onto that screen. And you'll need it to access area 3, which is where we are now. I recommend sliding for this part. If you just run for it, then you're gonna die, because spikes kill you in one hit, no matter how much health you have.
Yeah, that's what I recommend you do. And now we're getting out of the sewers. Go. Die. Die. And now all three of you are dead. Now I can finally exit the sewer and continue this rooftop scuffle. With some of the turrets that we've seen in Area 2. Here I am, Crash Man. For this boss battle, I made Crash Man weak to the Skull Barrier. I just thought it was an extra challenge. Um, if you'll observe... Ow. Oh. If you'll observe, I've made, uh, Crash Man immune to the Mega Buster. I just thought it would be an extra challenge. I think that's going to be it for this video. This game's a lot of fun. I'm really having a lot of fun playing it. Your levels, playing other people's levels online. Uh-huh. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!